Give me the news. Three years ago, Jenny developed GERD, or gastroesophageal reflux disease. Eventually, it got so bad, she could hardly eat anything. My name is Jenny, and I am 29 years old. Three years ago, after dinner, I began having what I thought was heartburn. I began taking various over-the-counter medicines, and none of those medicines seemed to help. The heartburn began getting worse. The symptoms were after every meal, no matter what I ate. The pain in my chest, began traveling up my throat all the way into a reflux and a bad taste in my mouth. I visited my doctors and they gave me various prescription medicines and those did not help either. The reflux and burning sensation in my chest consumed my life. I decided to go see a specialist, Dr. Chang, and he diagnosed me with GERD. Dr. Chang offered a solution, a Streta procedure. The Streta procedure is an outpatient procedure where we do everything through the mouth. So this is the esophagus. It's just a long, slender tube that carries food from your mouth to your stomach. So that's the top of the stomach, and right here is her valve, which is a little bit loose. And now we're in the stomach. That's acid. That's the stuff that splashes up into the esophagus and causes all that heartburn. We're going to suction some of that up. And as you can see, this pylorus is open. Normally, it should be closed. So she has a loose pylorus and a loose lower esophagus. So we're going to treat four levels in the esophagus. And then we're going to treat two levels in the stomach. Next, we're going to put this very soft little guide wire down the uh, channel, and this will help to stabilize the stratocatheter. And we have marks here that will tell us how far we've advanced this into the esophagus. Now the catheter is in place. Then it's a matter of inflating the balloon, delivering the RF energy, and repeating. The tip temperature is coming up nicely, so that's heating up the deep muscle. This is the second treatment level. Everything is going extremely well. Now that we've finished the four levels in the esophagus, I'm going to advance the catheter into the stomach, and then we'll be done. You can see now that the valve area is thickened. There's more closure to the valve, and this will help Jenny get rid of her GERD symptoms. Well, Dr. Chang and Jenny both join us now. Been a couple months. How are you? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I'm able to enjoy food again for the Which first time. Which is one of life's years. big pleasures, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Dr. Chang, really quickly, Jenny's not exactly like your classic GERD patient where, you know, we tend to think of a guy later in life with a big belly. And she was saying that literally three years ago, never before I had symptoms, and then all of a sudden became a daily hassle. Not uncommon. Uh, you know, 20% of the American population has weekly reflux. About 4 million people are on chronic medications to take care of the reflux, and refluxers come in all shapes and sizes. For a long time, the only options were medications or an invasive surgery. Uh, but this Strata procedure represents an outpatient simple procedure that's fast, effective, and safe. It does have a, quite a bit of a track record. Uh, many of the tertiary referral centers have this technology, and it's getting out into the community. And you have yep. an example there, and sure then do. we're going to show everyone the yeah. animation of how it works. So this is a very flexible, slender catheter that we slip down into the esophagus during an outpatient uh, procedure. You see it has a floppy tip. Uh, we inflate this balloon to stabilize it. And then from there, uh, we just advance these four tiny little needle electrodes. These electrodes go into the muscle, deep muscle of the esophagus, and that uh, delivers radio frequency energy which then bulks up, thickens the muscles, narrows the lumen, and restores the natural barriers to reflux. And, and how quickly did you feel better? Was it the next day? Were you eating pancakes? I mean, <laughs> where, where, what was the recovery process like? The recovery process was very minimal. Um, I would say within the first month, I went back for a checkup with Dr. Chang, and we were already reducing all of those medicines that I was on to the point where I don't have to take them today. Thank you for sharing your story, Dr. Chang. Thank you. 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 Thank